So we got a nine and a half inch circular pattern cut out of a one inch board. Your dowel goes through that. You've got a hole cutting it for your dowel. And then you got a hole in your table that doesn't go all the way through, so it'll sit there. Then your top part is an eight inch, same thing, one inch board. And you've got, I put this rubber up here and drilled a hole in the top of my dowel so it'll hold it up. So when I get ready to take it out, I can just lift it out. And you wanna go with your longest staves. Um, you see on this, see I've, Got, got it centered, a line through the center. These are the staves that will work your uh, rope at the top of the bucket. So you want them right in the center. There. Rubber bands. You always want these a couple inches longer than your regular staves. If you're doing eight inch or 10 inch staves, if these are 10, these are 12. You understand? Okay, then you're going to take after you've cut your angles, you're going to start stacking them around. Smaller end at the top. Say so they're triangular. And the other side like that, so it stays centered. Have just some rubber bands. You see how they start laying together? So you want your angles so that when they start laying together, that's what I say, I've never measured an angle. Every one of mine are different. But as you're putting it together, you should see your sides tighten together here on the outside. Okay. And they're all different widths. But the main thing is to keep that arrow on your two longest ones straight across from each other. And you might have to adjust some width as you get closer to finishing to get it, you know, completely centered in the, on that middle line. And if you've got gaps where you're not exactly straight, you take your stave over here and straighten it till you get a gap out of it. If you end up with a gap. I make 22 stave buckets. Two long ones, 20 short ones, shorter. And I have found that's a good system for this size, you know, half a four, half a one before. Allows you to get a couple staves out of each board you cut. And you see that rubber band holds it together. Okay, once you get them all together and you've got your two long ones, your arrows are lined up perfectly that go straight through. And like I said, sometimes if you don't measure this stuff, it's none of it's the same width. And so what you have to do 
is if those arrows are not on you too long ones, you have to take a thinner one and move it over here or a thicker one and change it around until you get those two staves straight across from each other, okay, the long ones. Now, pull your rubber band down. Now, later on, I'm going to go into making the bands, okay. I use mobile home tie-down straps for these new buckets because they're durable, but we put them together the same way they did with a, a rivet, uh, you know, uh, mashed out rivet. But you'll make you one that'll just fit around the top, but as you keep doing this, you're gonna have these bands left laying around that come off other buckets where you tighten them up and have to make other bands after the wood dries and everything. And so I've got one that's about the right size to go in the center of the bucket. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that band on it, take a, a driver, which you can see is angled and, and curved. when you have to start dropping your top that I told you the rubber was on so you can pull it together rubber band back up there so if something happens it don't fall apart on you hoop driver. These are antiques. I'm using their tools. Okay, you see you see how that pulls it together? So you can then just kind of regulate it and look at it and make sure that you're tight, pretty tight all the way around. I like to say I've got uh, two staves here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, twenty-two staves. Now, I haven't measured anything. You haven't seen me measure a thing doing this. So all my buckets are a little bit different, um, which is the way they would have been. They just work by eyesight, you know, by doing what they're going to do. But once you get this tightened up to where to hold it together, knock your mold out of it. You're starting to get there, so. Now what you're gonna do, is uh, knock those staves down level but you're going to give you your ears to drill your holes in to put your rope through. I made a stand out of two old truck wheels so I'd have somewhere to work on my buckets and barrels and stuff but especially buckets you want two places for your ears to go down in they didn't have truck wheels they used tables and and little stands and everything but i needed something so when i get it where i'm ready to tighten it up i got somewhere to drive it and you're pulling it your initial pulling it together tight 
enough to hold it while you work around it to work it. And then you're going to make... Then you're going to make your bands after you clean this and cut it down round, then you'll start with your end bands, which will fit very tightly around here. So right now we just got one on there to hold the staves together so we can start working the wood. 